you know, to me, you know, but they're having that concern. And I said, well, that's the reason why you have a CHI, you know, because we, but still the state says you can carry open. There's lots of places you can. I mean, no, it says that. so. So, but that's kind of the conflict that's happening right now. And I'm just, you know, I'm thinking, you know, if it, if it, you guys can come on in, if you want to. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying. Yeah, come on in. To be, you know, kind of smart on what you do with that, so you don't create the problem and everything. Yes. You know, the concern from there because you got, you got so many people out there. You know, and I'm, I'm, I'm probably one of the, the folks. It's, it's goofy, because the Senate and everything, they're saying. Well, if there's a gun battle or something going down in the building, we know where we're going to run. <laughs> you know, it says, well, where's Andy at? <laughs> you know, that's what they think. It's okay. But they, see, it's, it's okay for me. This is how they look. You know, it's just education. That's all it is. Yeah. Agreed. You know, there's, you know, how do I feel about sucking them out? 100% behind it. NRA has always given me an A-plus on my questionnaire and everything. They endorse me every year, so... You know, it's just like when you know you guys are you. Where are you all from? I'm actually a constituent. I live in Malala. In where? Malala. Okay, so you're not a constituent of mine. I, Portland. I Al thought Malala Albany. covered your district. Columbia County. Um, Columbia. No. You cover Canby. No, no, no. Oh. And in Benton County. You're talking. You're talking about Alan Olson, who's a senator. Oh, okay. That's over on the other side. Oh, okay. And then I got you. Yeah, I, I'm Andy. I apologize. Yeah, I I've thought. been here a lot longer than he is. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so, uh... Deschutes County, uh, Deschutes. 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 Deschutes County. We're just, we're just curious what, uh, what's going to be done as far as this, uh, upcoming, uh, session, as far as this legislation is being proposed by Elizabeth Stanner Hayward and, uh, Mitch Greenlick. Um, with, uh, with Kate Brown accepting $250,000 from Michael Bloomberg, and these edicts that she's come down with for magazine ban, uh, boyfriend loophole, and Charleston loophole. W what are we going to be doing here in this session to to stop this nonsense? We're 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 not going to allow one more inch. We're not going to. We're we're tired of this. We're absolutely tired of this. I don't know. It's it's going to be coming over probably from the Senate side, which is at thought. this point right now is turned into more of a liberal environment than what is over here on the House. But I can't say a whole lot of difference over here on the House side, but. Look, you know, all they need is a, a simple minority or a simple majority vote. That's the, that's the catch-all. And, and so it can pass over them. there. We have a super majority. 14. We have a super majority of Democrats in both chambers. Not you don't over here on the House Not side. On the House side. You don't have it over here. I thought there was. Mm -hmm. I thought there was just one vote short. One vote. Okay, because on the Senate side it used to be uh, Senator. Um, Betsy Johnson. Betsy will Johnson. Always side with, she yeah, always, mm, she's, she's as far as as far major as, as, far as gun goes, right. guns go. But I uh, I was unaware that on the House side that there was a one vote majority. Um, that's still not enough to stop what Kate Brown wants. That's, Kate Brown might not be your next governor. No, she might not be, but we can that's we, we can we can you count. Might end up having a marine there. We can count on the majority of the monopoly of Portland with their over re representation with their 10 senate districts and the uh super majority of the portland vote so you're looking at it too negatively you, you got to look at it from a positive otherwise i can't survive here mm -hmm. i got to look at things from a positive perspective otherwise mm -hmm. I, I just can't i mean and i'll try to do whatever i can to chip away at their foundation in mm -hmm. order to secure ours of what our founding fathers believed in uh so um if if that does surface over there and it comes over on my side, it'll be coming through my committee in, in judiciary. Mm -hmm. You got the chair of the committee, unless he gets told otherwise and gets pulled off of it. Jeff Parker, who's a Democrat, but he's also a retired, you know, cop from Portland Police Bureau. He believes in the Second Amendment. That didn't stop the vote on 941. That still passed. Yeah, it was party line too, wasn't it? Except for I think there was one or two. Jeff Barker voted for it too. Yeah. That was a, a that was a sad case. You can only do what you can do. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Well, well anyways, look. There, there's you know, you got a bunch of folks in this building. 
that are, are huge supporters of the Second Amendment. Yeah, I don't know. Huge. I mean, if that was the case, we wouldn't. The state. If that was the case, we wouldn't have the state issued, government issued permission slips anymore, which is what the CHL is. That is a permission slip. What we want is constitutional carry, just like Missouri made the 11th state of passing constitutional carry. Mm -hmm. They vetoed their Democratic governor's override, or the, the veto of that, mm -hmm. and they passed constitutional carry. We now have Missouri, Arizona, Wyoming, Vermont, Maine, um, Idaho, Idaho um, and a couple others. There are 11 states that are now constitutional carry. We want Oregon to be constitutional carry. Okay. So you tell me how that's going to happen with the environment that you have right now. I think it first needs to be introduced. I think that would be a start. So do you know of anybody that's doing that? No, I don't. Nobody has brought it up here in Oregon. Okay. We've got an we've got a movement going. If we need to put it, put it on the ballot, get an initiative to put it on the ballot, we'll do that. But I think we'd like to see it originate here, get constitutional carry passed. Okay. Well, at this point right now, I'm not willing to fight that kind of a battle. If you're asking me to sponsor or remove a bill like that. If nobody's brought it up before, because that's what mm -hmm. it sounds like, nobody's ever brought it up before, that's what I'm doing. Do you know how the Sheriff's Association feels about that? I don't think it matters. I don't think it... You I see, think we you, have a majority you, you of know sheriffs... You're wrong. you're wrong with it doesn't matter. You haven't been in this building for as long as I have been. I'm in my 12th year right now. Well, if so we're going to speak Constitution, uh -huh. the sheriffs are the last line okay, of defense. Okay, you've talked enough. Who else wants to talk? Anybody? I'm good. Okay. I'm filming right I want you to walk away from here. I want you to know that I'm a major advocate of the Second Amendment, and I will do whatever I can to help protect you with it in this building. Understand that's one voice. That's one vote. And I will always be that way. But I say that too because of what I believe in for the Constitution. And also my background, I haven't been with state police for 29 years. So uh, I, I know too that i got to work together with those folks on the other side of the aisle uh, for a lot, just not just this, but many, many things. i got to bring some common sense to the state. But your view, I mean, and what you stand for is just one of those common sense approaches. So, anyways, thanks. Andy, yeah. Thank you. Okay, as, Jeremy. As